Let's take a look at how to set up your first chatbot. First, we will be looking at how to think when making a chatbot. In the second part of the video, we will be focusing on the process of creating a chatbot itself. It's quite simple. At the very beginning, you should make sure that you have a clear idea about what the chatbot should do. Would you prefer your chatbot to help you with increasing your sales? Or to save your time by answering customers' most frequently asked questions? As for me, I wanted my chatbot to do both. So I set it up on my website exactly like that and the process took just a moment. I will show you the result. Imagine chatbot as an imaginary salesperson who greets your customers when they enter the store. Then ask them how he can help them, what they are interested in or what product they are looking for. Based on the product or services you are offering, Think about the most commonly asked questions that your customers might have and write them down. And then prepare their answers that the chatbot will be displaying to your customers. Another way to think about chatbot is to imagine it as interactive product category filter. At first, the customers may ask about your product or service. Then they gradually select the specific categories the same way as if they were applying filters until the chatbot shows them what they have been searching for. For example, if you sell pet food, first the chatbot may ask the customer, are you looking for dog food or cat food? Once the customer specifies that they are looking for dog food, the chatbot continues with the following up questions. This might be whether they have a puppy or adult dog. The customers choose the reply that they have an adult dog and the chatbot immediately asks if they are looking for dry dog food, treats or some canned food. Once the customers pick an answer, the chatbot guides them to a specific category or a product they are looking for. So to put it simply, when they're interacting with a chatbot, your customers continuously receives answers to their questions. These answers consist of the text that you have previously defined. First, think about and decide what exactly you would like the chatbot to help you with. Feel free to use a pencil and paper to sketch your chatbot to get a better notion of its structure. Then open the dashboard, choose the tab Chatbot and select the option Add a new bot. This will open the Chatbot Builder where you can easily create your new chatbot in just a few minutes. First, let's check the startup settings. Here you will see that the chatbot is automatically displayed to each and every customer after 4 seconds, once per visit and in both online and offline modes. You can also set up your chatbot to be triggered on a specific page of your website only. Simply pick one of the set conditions and insert the page of your choice. In other words, the page where you would like the chatbot to appear. For start, you can just use the default settings without making any changes. This means that your chatbot will be automatically displayed on every page of your website. Once you have set the trigger conditions, you can then move on the welcome message. This is the very first automated message that pops up in the chat box to greet the visitors on your website. You can use this first message to welcome visitors and give them all the important first information. For example, on my website, I use this message to let my customers know that I am here for them and they can contact me anytime. Right under this welcome message, visitors can see the buttons that launch the chatbot. And right here in the chatbot builder is where you can define them. By default, there are three predefined messages. You can edit the existing ones as well as add another two messages by clicking on the option Add button. So in total, you can have up to five messages. When finished, click on the button Done and you can see the whole chatbot tree again. 
Here in the Builder, you can gradually create the whole chatbot by adding and editing new branches. You can branch out each message by adding other buttons to them. This way, you can keep adding new messages until you create a whole chatbot that will give your customers all the information they need and guide them to the product or service they have been searching for. Consequently, the customer can end up ordering the product that uh, you show them or at least find all the information they needed in their decision-making process. All the messages should serve to give your customers the best advice they need. And as your visitors keep clicking on the next questions, they should receive more and more information. On my website, when customers search for Haki Goal, I show them what size we have and then I will ask which one they would like. As they click on a specific size, they automatically receive an answer. At the same time, other questions appear that takes them step by step to the product they have been interested in. Now, all you have to do is to apply these principles across the whole chatbot. All your changes are always automatically saved, so you don't have to worry about losing any updates. In this way, we have got you covered. Each question and answer can be shown or hidden by clicking on the symbol minus and plus. This way, you can see only a specific part of the chatbot that you intend to focus on. You will find this feature very useful, especially if your chatbot already has uh, various branches with multiply levels of question and answers. All your changes and drafts can be viewed in the chatbot preview. All you have to do is to click on the preview button in the upper right corner of the website a new window will be opened. There you will be able to see your whole chatbot exactly as it will look like on your websites once you activate it. You can try to click on each question to display all the answers and check that the chatbot works the way you want. As soon as you are finished building the chatbot, just click on the button publish and from that moment on the chatbot will be visible on your website. As you can see, the configuration of chatbot is really easy. Most of your time you will spend by deciding on what questions and answers you would like to have there. At this stage, it's really best if you take your time to ponder all the possible questions and answers for your chatbot and write them down. As was already mentioned, you can just uh, take a pencil and paper, alternatively use some app where you can create all the parts of your chatbot one by one until you have a complete idea of how it should look like. Investing your time to create a chatbot structure will be for you 100% value and it will definitely pay off uh, in the long run. Once you have set the chatbot up and uh, defined all its parts, it will permanently save you plenty of time make your work more effective and automatically help you to sell more of your products or services. It is not necessary to create a complete chatbot all at once. It can be done in several separate steps. First, start by setting the first question. Then, when you have other minutes to spare, you can continue with the second question until you create all the main five questions. If there is anything you would like to ask, then feel free to contact us. You can write us directly through the chat box in your dashboard or send us your question at support at smartsup.com and we will be happy to help you. Okay, that's all for today. So let's give it a try and set up your first chatbot. You will see that making a chatbot can be really easy to do. See you.